Hey guys, I'm back today. I'm gonna read a book about Ready Freddy on the Camp Camp Castopi and the Reading Race. And I'm gonna choose it in Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Okay, let's do it. Eeny Meeny Miny Mo, can't you take a bite? It's too hard to let it go. Eeny Meeny Miny Mo. Reading race. No, I'm gonna read this. I'm doing the breaking the rules. I'm breaking. I'm breaking the rules. Sorry, guys. If you want to, Ooh. read this. Tell me on the comments. Oh, this is okay. Camping Castropea by Abby Kellen. I love this song. Abby Kellen, Don Guan at sea. Oh, well. Chapter one. Snakes and skunks. I can't eat until tomorrow. I said to my best friend Robbie. I'd be stuck eating on an armchair. Me neither, he said. He's going to be it's going to be so much fun. What are you what are you doing talking about? Bart Bart like the biggest bully in our whole first grade. I'm going to a new ballot tomorrow, so we quit. My mom even brought me a freshly pink tutu. It might be a little sequence. No one cares. Max and the up this side. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking to Freddy and Robbie. Well, you don't have to be so rude, Chloe continued. Continue. I I was just saying, Max cut her off and turned back to us. So, that's one out to be good. We're going camping. Even my dad, I said, smiling proudly. Where? said Max, chuckling into your backyard for an explanation. Said Robbie, we are going to spend the night in our wilderness. Really? Said my friend Jesse. That camping sounds so cool. I always wanted to go camping. I know, me too. I said, what kind of thing are you going to do? First, I have on a pitch tent and probably go fishing and swimming in the lake. We built the campfire to make us more. Some more. Where are you going to sleep? asked Chloe. What do you mean? said Robbie. In the tent, of course, sleeping in bags. But, but that's so dirty, Chloe said, wrinkling up her nose. And there are so many bugs. That is fun of it. Said Jesse, yeah, I don't want bugs crawling on the middle of the night. Yeah, they might even crawl up your nose, Chloe. Crawl up your nose, Max said, wiggling his finger like a spider on cold pit. Ew, Chloe screamed, snapping Max's hands away. Get your hands off of me. Off of me, you are so gross. And you're such a baby, said Max laughing. I'm not. You are too. I'm not, Chloe whined. I too. I'm going to tell Miss Becky on you. Chloe cried as she got up from the table and stopped off to find the lunch. I beg. Lunch I Becky. Baby! Max 
called after he stuck his tongue out. Then turn back to work. Pitching tent, fishing hat. Huh? What do you two of you, you know about that? Well, um, a big crap, nothing. You two baby doesn't know anything about camping. I bet they know more than me. Jessie interrupt, pointing at her finger at Max's face. I bet you never slept anywhere but in your own bed with your little teddy, teddy weddy. Bear and a big bracket. Boy, when, when it comes to Max, Jessie's so brave. She's never afraid to step up on the uh, Max thing. Exactly, just uh, tonight. I thought, said Jessie, you've never been camping before, so stop acting like such a big job. Max stared at her. She opened his mouth, but nothing came out. He didn't really know what to think. How does she do that? Thanks. That was great, I whispered to Jessie. It's nothing, she smiled. So how long are you guys going to be gone for? We are just going for one night, said Robbie. Funny that I've never been camping before, so we thought, hmm, I mean, it would be a good way to start. You guys, you guys are going to have lots. Yeah, my dad said, we are going to catch lots of fish and cook them for dinner. I'm going to catch really big one. Me too, said Adam Robbie. I'm going to catch bigger one than your head, Freddy. Are you going to? To tell a ghost stories around the campfire, asked Jessie. Of course, Robbie said. I know some really scary ones. Of course we are, I answered, trying, trying to sound brave. But he said, I hope that Robbie's story wouldn't be too scary. After all, I just found all of the night creatures near enough to scare pants of me. Just watch out for two SS, said Jessie. The two SS? Yeah, the snakes and skunks. Ha <laughs> ha, the, the, the skunks. You mean stink bombs? The. What do you mean snakes and skunks? I asked nervously. Don't you know what's so full of them? said Bobby. It's natural habitat. Robbie is science genius. He knows all about animals, so he knew he wasn't making this up just by freak me out. Uh, nobody said anything about snakes and stuff. Don't worry, they won't bother you if you don't bother them. If you say so, we are beginning. We are beginners. So, to wonder if this trip is such a good idea. Oh, stop worrying, Freddy. We are going to have a great time. Who said I, ha I was worried? It's going to be a real adventure, Jessie said, patting me on the back. I wish we were going. Yeah, it will be great, I said, smiling weakly. <coughs> a real adventure! Oh, ho! and jump on the top of my dad while he was sleeping. Uh, 
My dad cried and then with his eyes still closed, he mumbled, Freddy, why are you so tackling me in the middle of the night? It's time to get out, said Dad. Let's go, go, go. I said trying to pull him, but up he was heavy as a bag of rocks. What time is it? He asked, rubbing his eyes and screaming, Morning, Freddy, honey, my mom said. Yeah, it's only five o'clock in the morning. Go back to sleep. I can't, said mom. Next morning, I was up, and <clears throat> but you're not leaving. Mm. I can't. Mom and Dad have to get ready for camping. But you're not leaving for another four hours. Robbie's mom said she'll drop him off at nine o'clock. Four hours, I can wait that long. Oh, I'm afraid. We're going to have to get a little more sleep. Then we might don't going at all. You you don't really mean that, do that? Rest of the things you're awake. Why don't we go look over the packing list and make sure you haven't forgotten anything? Good idea. Mom, I'll, back, I'll be back soon. Not soon, my dad muttered as he rolled over to put his covers on the chest. My dad walked to my room and picked up the covers for my mom. Mom and I made. Mom and I, I had made, so he would be sure not to forget anything. I ran two fingers and threw a sleeping bag, check, fish pool, check, ca candy, check, circuit, flashlight, oh no, my circuit, no flashlight. Packing after that, I couldn't find it. Going to look for it later. But I don't couldn't go without my circuit and flashlight. And look to find it. I look under my bed for the plastic hammer I took. A quarter of a baseball card. Quarter of a baseball card. I stopped. And I lost my dark chest flashlight. I was running around my desk. Robber. Pulled a picture of me, Robbie, me and Robbie at the membership card to the aquarium. No, no shark heads and flashlight. I was starting to get a little panic. I could not go camping without my shark head and flash. Wait, I'm afraid of ducks. And I have to sleep. With a night on my own, night light on. I was secretly plan, planning to leave my circuit and flashlight on the night inside my sleeping bag. I sat down to the edge of my bed and in my forehead with my palm and of my hand, ding ding. All I know, I whispered. I bet Sudi took it last weekend and she, she and her friend were having a sleepover. She had never gave it back to me. I jumped off the bed and walked across the hall to Sudi's room. Her door was shut, so I turned her door in a very slowly and tiptoed inside. She was sound asleep and snoring so loudly. <laughs> she sounded like a sick pig on of these days.
I'm going to have a tape record on my snoring and play it back for her so it could feel it, it could be good for a few laughs. I scared out in the room quickly, but I didn't see flashlight anyway. Wait, I was going to have have to search a, search for it. I got down on my hand and knees and started crawling around her. Mm. I look, I look on her bookshelf, not there. I look behind her dresser, not there. I wasn't know about by asking, ah, so he squirt and sat straight in the bed. Who's there? Who's there? I pop and my co and cover my cover her mouth with my hand. Shh, it's only me. I whisper. She yanks my hand off my hand. Hey, hey, get your grimy little hand off of my mouth. What? What are you doing in my middle of the night? She was a little angrily. I'm. It's not middle of the night or, or whatever. It's still dark outside. But without my permission, looking for something. Why are you looking for something that was in my room? Because I think you took it. Pick what? My shirt got washed away. Why would I want a stupid thing? Because you did it. It when you and your friend were. Telling a ghost story in the sleep over last weekend. No, I didn't decide to find me flashlight. I would have asked my mom for one. I wouldn't be caught a dead with your lamb shot one. So on X not lame. Oh yes, it is. It's not X2. I could see the one getting anywhere. And I was leaving him and less than, than the few hours, so I had it. I said, I really need to find it. Why do you have to find it so badly? I'm going to need for a camping trip. I'm sure Robbie will have one. One the two of you can share. I need my own life because... Why? Because why? Just because... Oh, I think you know why, Sudi said. A drone slowly forming on a lip. You're afraid of that. I'm not. You are too. You can go sleep without your nightlight. Um, all makes sense now. You are planning using the flashlight. Nightlight. So, you're such a baby. I bet you don't even. <coughs> no miss and, and I bet. You guys come home in the middle of the night. No, we won't. Wanna bet? Suki asked, holding up her pinky for pinky wear. Suze, what's the bet? If you come home in the middle of the night, then you have to do night chores for the week. But you didn't make do the night. But the night then I have to do your do your for a week of week was well off faith afraid you're not going to lose us lose the bet no then do we have bet or not? I don't have all day, she said, waving his pinky at me. Fine, I bet. Bet's on, I, I said. And luck, Pinky, then you're going to be really sorry they made it in luck because next week is my week. Sweep the garbage. Why not worry, Queen Sneaker? I'm going to love watching the wake of all the leaves. Yeah, right, I mumble under my bed. I can go up my room now. I let you to go back to sleep, but I still had looked my shirt kept flashlight. Well, it's not here, she said, giving me a little show towards the door. Then, do you have any idea where it is? I love to help you. I need a beauty sleep. Why don't you look out the treehouse? 
baby, you and Robbie took some of us. Maybe. Mm. Maybe you and Robbie took it out there. The other day when we were playing detective. Your genius are you giving her away they come. I know, I know. Now can I we go back to see you're the best sister in the whole world? I called that I ran out to the bedroom, down the stairs and back to the door. Chapter three The Tenth Trouble We're gonna step there. And I'm type of giving me ten trouble and we are living tomorrow and I have this book for you. Yeah.